next four days, we're going down east to an old favorite, beloved Wally Inn, where we'll find hidden mountain rivers, walk through dark caves, eat delicious food, lots of delicious food, hang out with a good friend, and make some more friends, drive down some of the most beautiful mountain roads, get trapped in the rain again, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Welcome back to Vaughn's World. just ticks all the boxes. Anytime there's a long weekend on the horizon, I begin to fantasize about the cool mountain air and how it always fizzles through my rented scooter helmet. The memory of sizzling grills and friendly chatter on an entirely silent backdrop becomes so palpable that I nearly weep out of disdain at my city lifestyle, where the hustle and bustle seeks to drive me mad. Walien is just far enough away to feel forgotten, but close enough to discourage any lousy excuse to stay home. Sacrifice a regular meal's worth of money and you've got a train ticket. Two or three hours of sitting on that train and you're there. There's only one train station that I know of with a view <laughs> like that, and that's Walien. We're back. Yay! We just took the stupidest train ride. It's called the express train, but... <laughs> Walian is in the like the east side of kind of the middle of the island, and it started the journey by going north. So there's nothing express about it. Not only that, <laughs> there is no seats, and so they still sold us tickets, which are just standing. But there's nowhere to stand. Like they don't give you an actual area to stand. So we ended up just kind of sitting on our butts. Wait, you always sit on your butt. Anyway. We're off to go find our good buddy, Jason. If you don't know already, Jason is a good friend of mine. He's always up to something new. And this time, he's starting another new hostel. Ha ha ha! Look who it is! Yo. Yo. <laughs> Dude, this is cool. Yeah. He brought us around his hostel and explained to us his dream of turning it into a truly unique place to stay. Right now, it's a perfectly functioning and comfortable spot to call home for a while. But you have to know Jason to know that there's bigger plans for this place. You might be watching this video long after it's been published, and if that's true, then I'm guessing this place looks totally different than it did in this video. Okay, this is our home for the night, obviously, but uh, no time to get settled. Jason said it's time to go to the river. He said it's river time. We splashed around, skipped rocks, and cooled off until it was time to get food. I thought about how interesting it is that wherever there's water and rocks, there are people skipping them across the water, though it serves no evolutionary purpose. I guess humans just need to mess around once in a while. As to be expected, Jason is now bringing us to get some food. Uh, dumplings, I think. Mm. Alright, check it out. Some dumplings from, I don't know where. They're huge though. One's cabbage and one is chive. Man. Mm. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> shit. Shui Jian Bao. Shui Jian Bao. Correct, yeah. Oh, okay. Some more food. One of those egg things, I don't know, egg pancake roll things? I don't know. <laughs> Jason, what's this thing called again? Uh, Chong Yo Bing. Chong Yo Bing. Yeah, Chong Yo Bing. All right. Oh Chow man, yeah. I love these things. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so three of those things plus a drink, how much was it? A hundred and tea. 
All right, yeah. so like for three bucks Canadian? Yeah, it's almost nothing. All right, we're back in the hostel now. We're gonna sit down and just drink some beer, eat those unbelievably delicious things. It's like an egg in a deep fried pancake, mm -hmm. scallion pancake with some spicy sauce. Oh, my friend Jared chipped my teeth yet last night. Jared's been on the show. So I'm like low key scared every time I bite into something that it's gonna hurt, but uh, it's worth it. So good. If you want to stay in this hostel, I'll get the information from Jason and I'll put it in the description. But right now it's not on Google, it's exclusive. It's for VIP. Just oh, check find, it out. You can find me on Airbnb. Oh, on Airbnb, there you yeah. go. And it's like called? A base 226. Base 226. What's it called again? San Long Yen. San, San Long, Long Yen. Yen. Sweet. Yeah, very sweet. Delicious. Different taste, Mr. Lee. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's not at all like a grape. No. Uh, it's not at all like I don't know. The texture is almost like a mango. Yeah, we got grape. This flavor is very mild, but it's really sweet. Like really it's, sweet. I can't describe it. That's as good of a description <laughs> as you're gonna get. Oli? Oh, thank you so much. Maybe first. Thanks. Check these things out. They're like these little oh. snails. I don't know if I can. That's a. Uh, How's it a unique way to talk? And you have yeah. to suck yeah. them out of this little hole. <laughs> this one is. Oh, mm. uh, that would become turning into alcohol. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. It's another perfect day here in Wally Inn. We're gonna just go get a scooter. Sort out a scooter and just see where it takes us. I found my child's helmet. Looks, it looks like it fits. Yeah, it, feel, oh, it feels much better already. After taking public transit and bumping into busy strangers every day as they hustle their way to work in the city, I cannot overstate how liberating it feels to be at the helm of a scooter in a big wide open road that navigates the mountains. If you haven't done it, I encourage you. I dare you. Ollie found this thing called Emerald Valley on Google Maps. We don't know what it is, but we just drove through like this nothing town. Like we haven't seen any people and then we got here and now there's just loads of people. Anyway, it's indicative of something being up there. So we're gonna go check it out. We'll see. I don't understand Taiwan sometimes. People will drive like 200 kilometers to go see the tree that looks like a chopstick, but they won't come to this. Like, there's nobody here. This is a, just a giant cave, and there's like this cold wind. It feels like an air conditioner coming out of it, and it's pitch black. It's the path to Emerald Valley, but the thing is that this, this whole thing has a story about, I don't know, only the brave can go through it. Because you're going to start walking. And for a few full five minutes, apparently, it's pitch black in the middle. And you just have to keep walking straight. Yeah. All right. So it's going to be hard to show you any footage in there, but I'll do my best. It's, uh, it is pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and they weren't hitting. It's fucking dark. like cool crazy dark cave and then swimming on the other side what else do you need see this is like this is a real like this is a real attraction I remember last time when we went to see the largest tree in Taiwan oh. it was a dead tree 
It was half rotted and it wasn't even that big. But this, this I can handle. Wow. Wow, just check out this view, you guys. That's pretty cool, but you know how it works. I'd rather go where the people aren't. And that usually means that we find cooler spots. We found another path that goes even further up. So the other waterfall that I just showed you is down there. You can probably hear it. And we found this other path, and there's nobody on it. And the reason there's nobody on it is because the beginning of the path looks like it's grown in. I'm sure all you guys can hear are the cicadas going nuts. And for good reason, it's like, it's gotta be 38 today, base temperature. Um, but if you were here, you might also be able to hear water, like waterfall up ahead. And my mind is playing tricks on me because I feel like I can hear it, but then it goes away sometimes. I think maybe this is a good time to tell you that we are working on a website, it's a blog. We both actually write when we travel anyway, and then I use some of my writing for narration, but you'll be able to actually read the entire thing on everywhere we go. And this will work retroactively too, so all the old videos that I've made will have that as well. And besides that, we, we have been creating Google My Maps for all the spots that we find when we travel. So if you're curious about where we've gone and what path we've taken, there will be a link there that just opens up Google Maps and, um, and shows you all the spots. It's all labeled, color-coded. The website's not up yet. So until then, I'll just leave the My Maps link in the description. You can find this place if you want. All right, I think we're getting close to <laughs> Ollie's giving me the smiles. I think we found a waterfall. <laughs> okay, once again, Leaving the herd of people had a big payoff. Holy fuck. <laughs> but that story will have to wait till later. See you in the next one, folks. Take care.